Hello and welcome. Fair game by 1C Studios or company. Y you know, you know what game it is already. I mean, you just look at the no, not the description, the title for a few minutes, and you know what game it is. Anyway, I'll shut up and just drink some tea. Six years have passed since the events of 2226. A fragile balance has been established across the known universe. Transgalactic corporations were driven out to the Universal Dump, where they settled in the hope of regaining their former power. The Empire continues its war against the aliens, with whom no contact has been made to this day. But war is a lucrative business, and the unstable peace will not last. The successful practice of using fully autonomous mercenary squads will be used once more. That means that the famed Star Wolves will once again be in this difficult but well-paid business. Incoming call. Hey man, haven't heard from you in a while. How are things? Hey there. Well, things aren't great, to be honest. Peaceful times are not thing. profitable for mercenaries. I'm broke. I even had to sell the mothership. Awkward pause. Really? Well, unfortunately, we can only dream of peace and calm. Let me show you what is happening on the borders of space. I'm sorry, but you could have used that mothership for transporting cargo and become a mercenary, mercenary cargo transporter. I know, I, I love how I say I'll shut up and, you know, drink some tea and suddenly start falling again. I don't know why. Well, you get the picture. Given these latest events, you may be in for some good work. If you're interested, come meet me in the Areco sector. Sure, I'm interested. End of transmission. I, I don't know if it's cartoonishly exaggerated so they don't hit the in uncanny valley and just fall all the way down it, or if it's just massively exaggerated because it's not spectacular animation. I hope it's because they saw that if they went um, too non-exaggerated it would have looked a bit too uh, uncanny. But anyway! Hello and welcome to Star Wolves 2. I played a little touch of this just so I could uh, see if there was much different and uh, it's okay. It seems to be another kind of story and it's uh, more free roam. When I played this um, on my old computer it crashed a lot, let's just say. But anyway, you also not have... Um, this is a good side and a bad side to a degree because some people I know love hearing me fail at reading. But, uh, there's actually voice acting in this. Bad side is, I'm not reading. Good side is, we get to laugh at terrible voice acting. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, let's continue. I'm gonna keep this one short just so I can make sure the audio levels are correct because of the voice acting. But anyway, let's go. Also, I just remembered, I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn Steam off when I remember. Prior to the start of the game, select the pilot specialization from four available uh, thing made pilots, weapons, systems, and you know missiles. I don't think I'll go with missiles again. That was that was. Mm. Let's just say that was a little bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, we're gonna have Ace again, so he's going to have heavy uh, laser favoritism. So I'll leave him with laser favoritism. Um. I'm actually going to go pilot this time. Next time I might go systems, depending on if Ace is with us or not. But I think this time it'd be best if I just went pilot. You know, maybe then he won't fly into stations. Ah, damn it, I keep forgetting there's not enough. There we go. And by keep forgetting, I forgot the last game in this game. Her. Confirm specialization. Yes. Uh, continue. Okay. Actually, no. I 
think quick learner is good to get off the bat, to be honest. But at the same point... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. Anyway, the controls are essential. This is the MSS Central control. Sector. We want to warn you that this is fierce fighting in the Lacade sector right now. Moreover, just a few minutes ago, with the Far East, Eglion patrol broke down. We can't be certain, but it's possible that the aliens have something to do with this. We will escort you to the station. Okay, sounds good to me. I think I still have to voice act my own line, so to speak. Not literally voice act them, but, you know, read them. Oh, right, I was trying to follow you and you're just actually following me. Her. But anyway, it's been a little while since I did the original... Well, I say a little while, I mean about a month. They've improved the graphics a little touch in Star Wars 2. I don't know why I'm saying a month, it's more like two, maybe three months. Glad to see you again, Captain. Let me introduce you. you to my old friend Jack. We go back a long way. Jack has helped me again and found a worthy ship for you. You're very lucky that I was able to get my hands on a spaceship of Ramadanta's class. When Ace told me that his friends wanted to purchase a spaceship, I upgraded the old bathtub the best way I could. Instead of the old atomic systems, it is now Ooh. equipped with modern neutrino engines. And that's not all either. The ship has five basic turrets and four modules for system installation. Ooh, like Besides, just for you, I've added a brand new freight container for half the price. Do you want to check it out, or shall we do the deal right now? If you take it now, it will cost just 99,999 credits. What a rare spaceship. I think the last time this type of ship was used was in the collapse of the Titan operation nine years ago. I would never have imagined that such a spaceship could be used by an old space dog. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> By the way, you'll be able to recoup part of your expenses if you agree to my offer. See the letter I sent you for more details. I'm waiting for your response. Now, let me introduce you to your new crew. They're waiting for you inside. Okay. I hope they come from the elite. Tell me more about them. I hope they Brino come from and KT. The elite. You couldn't dream of a better crew, even though they're both girls. What's Ain't that no gonna do with that? Crows like these two anywhere in the galaxy. Brina is an ex-airborne no. pilot, no, a distinguished war veteran, so you should consider yourself lucky that she'll be piloting the Star Wolf. As for KT, I picked her out of a thousand Academy graduates. She graduated with a gold star. KT has knowledge of a broad range of things, but her main specialty is systems and communications. Cheers, Ace. I believe we have quite a team, so let's see them in action. <laughs> well, that seems to be it. Just like the old days. Time to go. It seems that we have quite a team, so let's see them. In action. Yeah, yeah, that, that part as well. <laughs> oh, The voice acting is going to be spectacular, I'm just saying no. But come on. How sexist is that? Even though they're both girls, what, what, what's that gonna do with it? There's a lot of women who can do jobs better than men, there's a lot of men that can do jobs better than women. Just depends who they are. Eh. Hey. Also, how long are we gonna be staring at the will? The new will. Am I meant to be pressing a button? Give me a second, I'm pressing a button in a wee second. No? Escape, I guess? Message. Sure. You have new mail. Thank you, KT. That's not how you access mail. It's going to take me a little while to remember how to access mail. That's not it. Nope. Oh. Menu? No, it's not menu. Mail. There we go. Uh, out of the cabin. Into the From out of the cabin, enter Galactic Store. What do you give a person who has everything? What kind of present would impress them on their birthday? Wedding? Anniversary? Or the other day of celebration? How does one express their love without being unoriginal? By ordering a cryogenic aquarium with... Ankit... Ankit species? You will impress your friends and... With your taste and... Innovation. 
now in store. Uh, reply to this letter and we will be delighted to process your order. From Jack. Dear friend, I know we could do... I knew we could do business together the moment I met you. Hence, I'd like to offer you yet another deal, and a profitable one at that. A piece of cake for an ace like you two. Uh, that's, that's the wrong two. I'm dyslexic and I know that's the wrong two. But let's get, it str let's get straight to business. I guess you already know that uh, there is heavy fighting with the aliens which has erupted in the Lassad sector. Um, has now moved to the Eglion system. There is always a few interesting objects drifting around after battle. A friend of mine collects them and takes care of the sails. Since I have an understanding with a few with the patrol captain, I never had any problems with the transportation of these goods, but things have changed now. Rumour has it that a group of pirates have offered have is after the cargo. Uh, they stayed in the sector after the patrol of Eglion failed. These goods cost big credits on the black market. If you agree, you'll get 50,000 credits. Almost enough for the ship. Uh, you'll have to do... All you'll have to do is collect the cargo from my partner in the Trot system and bring it to me at the patrol station. I will send you the coordinates as soon as you agree. Okay. Anyway, I thought you'd be interested in this, but I ended up uh, bashing my head in on Thursday there. So I've tried not to record much for a little bit. Uh, it seems fine, it's nothing really serious, but I, I just thought you'd find Captain, it interesting. Captain, the MSF patrol oh. requests assistance. They're waiting for us near the portal to Farles. Uh, yes, but Jack told us to settle his problem as soon as possible. If we get involved in MSF problems, We'll have to forget about doing business with Jack forever. Oh. Well, it's the patrol's job to do, you know, fights. And hey, they signed up and risked their lives for it anyway, so yeah, the patrol can wait. It is their job, after all, to do this. But yeah, I went and uh, fell in a graveyard and whacked my head off a gravestone, so I've picked out my own gravestone. I love irony. It's great! Ah uh, yes, let's teleport to the Lissad system. There we go. <clears throat> Ship launched. It's only about, uh, apparently an inch long, roughly. So it's nothing really that terrible. Uh, all the way over to Trot now. Ah, uh, but yes, this game, this game's uh, da -da -da -da, got an actual. Ooh. Ah! This game's actually got a system map. I'll show you in a wee second after this fight. Ah, uh, Will, can you stop? I was about to say, are you called the Star Wolf still? Yeah, it is still called the Star Wolf, which is good. So I can, I can keep, you know, the old remembrances that I used to say, like, Hey, wolf! And stuff. Yeah. Oof. Ouch. Go after that, please. You. Go after that. I keep trying to press space to restart the game, but it doesn't work like that. We've taken a touch of damage, but that's not dreadful right now. We have to go after the ones that have missile systems. So the next one would be him here. And if we may. Perfect. Uh, after that, it was just a hatchet, basically. There we go. Perfect. Well, get back on the wolf six. Ugh. She's taken a bit of damage, but hopefully we can repair. I have no idea how we'd repair now, I think about it. What if I go to a trading station? Can I, like, buy some equipment? Because if I can buy some equipment, one of the first things I think I will buy is a repair system. 
surely because that'll be exceptionally useful for keeping costs down. Because unfortunately, like the first game, there is no automatic repair. Ooh, a ship carcass. Huh. I do hope the audio's at a reasonable level right now. I mean, currently it's very quiet. Uh, complete docking? Yes, please. From here you can go to the shop of the black market to buy or sell equipment and uh, weapons systems and stuff. And re-equip your base ship with and fighters in order in the lower left part of this in the lower part of the screen you'll see the contents of your base ships and cargo hold. In the left side of the screen you can see the hangars and the fighters and their pilots and the stuffs and the woo Oh, I don't know why I was feeling so miserably not speaking there, but let's have a look. What do we have? Uh, we have an evil sensor system, I guess. It's not quite what I'm looking for, though. Hmm. That's sad and unfortunate. But alas, what can you do? Um... Oh shoot, what's better? Maximum or minigun? Maximum is worse. Okay, so we'll sell some of those. And by some of them, I mean all of them, of course. And let us get moving again. I hope to goodness that they have fixed this pa the pathing. Because the original game's pathing was a bit pants, let's just say. Uh, we do have some missile systems, but I don't want to use them really right now. Ah, but yes, I was about to say we have a global map, because this is a free rolling game. And these are all the systems we have, like Chios and Hellion, you know, things like this that I'll inevitably fail at saying. Anked. Huh. So that's where they got their fish from. Anked, a true resort haven. If this is a place created ex uh, if there is a place created exclusively for pleasure and enjoyment, Anked is it? Oh, okay. Where are the systems that we're in? Lasad is one of the most promising uh, newly discovered sectors from the mining point of view. This sector is particularly rich with uranium fields. A multitude of cargo vessels go through Lasad every day. If you say so, I've not seen any. Tarot is a border sector, there's nothing noteworthy here. Even patrol squads don't visit this godforsaken place. Hmm. And the place that we were was Areco. To the present day, Areco is no man's land, and an ideal hideout for smugglers and pirates. Ha. Huh. Fascinating. So I wonder what our businessman's doing in a sector for pirates and smugglers. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Eh. Ship launched. Oh, Commander, hi there. Station coordinates received. Roger that. Location has been marked on the map. Okay, that sounds good to me. But I don't like the pirates that are right behind us. You know what? I am going to go after these pirates before they go after me. Because that's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. Yep, I know. Because they were coming after me, I can tell. I'm gonna say the music's kinda good. I don't, it's not got the same nostalgic hit that the other one does for me. I 
And I don't think I quite like it as much as the other one. But it's still quite cool. Ooh, nice shot, Ace. I see that I'll still be saying nice shot, Ace. Uh, get a little closer, Will, please. That'll do it perfectly. Great shot. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can upgrade the uh, crew of the wolf now. That's one thing I forgot to actually mention. So if I right click here, as we can currently see, uh, she can get quick learner and stuff like that. So quickly, actually, hmm. Ha, huh, what should I get actually? What, what do you have, first off? Accurate gunner. Probably would be nice to get accuracy with the guns. We're not really going to dodge anything, let's be perfectly honest. We could increase the maneuverability of the ship, but that's not going to help us dodge anything. Uh, da -da -da -da. Shield operator would be very nice. At the same point, though, we kind of need quick learner. Just as a general rule. Uh, nice. You're the one that gives us Berserk. And, um, you know, alien technology. It's actually pretty sweet. Uh, wait, did I complete something there? Oh no, a rescue capsule. Yeah, I picked up a rescue capsule. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, hey there, pirates. I'm going to guess that you're a little upset. Hmm. Call it a hunch. Hunch. Uh, sit still, Wolf, please. Okay. I don't quite like the design of this ship as much as the Wolf, but it's still quite nice. Where are all your guns, though? You have one in each uh, up, down, left, and right, but where's that fifth one? Oh, right, the fifth one's just on the tail here. I guess face on would literally be the best firepower then for you? Maybe side on? Like, I can see a broadside being effective for her. Because you'll have the 1, 2, 3, and 4. Although forward on is not going to be as good, I think. So I think broadsiding is probably going to be the best amount of firepower we can eke out of her. that, for now, that doesn't really matter. Anyway, off to station A2. Why is that flashing? Huh. Okay, sure. Station A2. Repeat, Station A2. This is Star Wolf. Do you copy? Star Wolf to Station A2. Listen, man, Jack sent us, and our time is way too expensive to waste it playing hide and seek with you. We know you are there, so hurry up and reply. <laughs> yes, yes, I copy Star Wolf. Sorry, very flat delivery on his lines. You know, so much stuff happening these days alien attacks, unstable political situation, and now we've got these pirates to deal with too. If you ever summon the courage, to look outside, you know that there's no one left to deal with around here. Now enough talk. Let's go down to business. He you sounds the mildly goods? annoyed, but not really annoyed enough. Of course, of course. Shall I start loading? Uh, yes, hurry up, would you? I guess. It's the only thing I can assume. Right, 
answer. Oh. I guess now we just return, apparently. Sure. <laughs> I thought maybe a little more than just, nah, we ain't done with you. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Huh. This sector does look strange. What am I? I'm gonna try something. I want to see if there's anything in this. No? Okay. It was worth a try. I was actually curious if maybe the flashing was... Hey, look! Easter egg! Yeah, you see Easter egg? I see Easter egg. I'm partially tempted to tear apart some of these carcasses to see if they have anything in it, but... Nah. I'll leave it. Desecration of the dead, probably not the best of ideas. Doesn't make you many friends, I hear. Uh, follow that. No, that's the wrong one. I will follow that. You are on my tail. I'm going to make myself, hopefully, the instructor type thing. We'll get that for you. Ace, we'll do... Yeah, we'll just stick with that for you for now. Uh, you've not got any more experience, that's okay. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver this cargo and then I'm probably going to end it there to see what the audio's like and pretty much render it to upload it today. So I don't actually have anything to upload right now, I just noticed. Her. Unfortunate and sad, but eh, true. But that's rather bizarre that the spacebar doesn't uh, continue the game again anymore. I wonder why they changed that, I mean, it was quite nice to be able to just press space and have it start. Ship launched. Um, follow that me, and ace onto me. At this rate, I think I'll probably tell my ships not to launch until they're wired. Because it's getting a bit tedious saying, ace, follow me, and we'll follow the Star Wolf. Now I'm dying to know if you've got the goods. Oh, I got the goods. Uh. Hmm. Um. <laughs> we had it, but I personally took the trouble of flinging it out into space, now, Um, of course. You had your doubts about it, eh? Heh. <laughs> Get them credits rolling into your account, you can take your crap. Thank you, fellas. I really don't know what to do without your help. Here's your hard-earned money. Hmm. Okay. I uh, knew. No. Do not complete docking. I don't think. Actually, you know what? Sort it. Might as well dock, see what's there. Nope. Not with the fighters. With the wolf. Or can the wolf not do the dock? No, oh, maybe the wolf can't dock. Hmm, let's see. No? One minute, I, wa I wanna try this. I wanna see if I'm making a big mistake here. Okay. And then back to it. Let's see if that lets me dock. No. Oh, no, there. This is MSF Patrol sends your greeting. The MSF support, uh, Patrol sends your greetings, Star Wolves. Hey, soldiers. 
You're due 300 credits for the delivery of three pirates to the patrol station. Anytime. Nice doing business with you. Come back again. Ah, uh, see you again someday. Huh. Interesting. Ah, uh, well, to the trading station, I guess, then. Huh. Just sheerly because I want to see what's in the trading station. After that, I'll probably leave it. Uh, stop right there, fellas. Uh, yes, complete docking. What's on here? Please tell me you have what I want. Oh, of course you don't. I has got the Eagle Sensor module, though. Might be an idea just to grab it for the increased range. You know, kind of obvious. Might be an idea to grab it for the increased range, you know, that thing it's designed for. Wait, what? <gasps> no, wait, what? I don't need decrease in volume, do I? I don't have a maximum cargo size, do I? Hmm. Okay, but the sense of it looks like I'll have to deal with a maximum cargo size. Oh, wait a minute, 3,000... Let's put this thing back in. Ah, 3,450. Interesting. Oh, may as well put it in for now, I guess. Um, I'll take that Eagle sensor system, though. Uh, and I'll fling it into the ship. Uh, do you have any jobs for me? You can hire recruits to get new missions. Or get new missions from here. Okay. Huh. Frenzy Squad. Three fighters will prove their loyalty to you in battle for a small fee of 3,700 uh, credits. Huh. The Harpy Mercenary Squad. Eight of the most daredevil mercenaries in the galaxy are willing to help for you for a reward of 11,600 credits. Or the Spawn Mercenary Squad. Nine mercenaries will save you from all, uh, all your trouble for only 13,200 credits. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Um, you can find jobs or hire, hire several assistants from here. Okay, yeah, we got it. Cargo and medicines must be delivered to the Professor of the USS Lab for uh, technical development in the Kayas Lorraine from Lasad to Tarat. Hmm. Interesting. I might. I'll, I'll think about this. A group of reasonable, dutiful, decent mercenaries is wanted to patrol the Lasad system. A uh, good payment, interested party should contact the unique antique trader, even, and Kahai Pros, who is expecting you in the patrol station in that sector. Sure, we'll take the both of these, actually. Nope. Okay, we'll just take the one of them then. Interesting. Anyway, when we get away from this station, I'm going to leave it there. Huh, interesting. Uh, I'd say that's good enough as doing is away from the station. So I'll leave it there, and until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. Huh.